I'm talking now about the fact that $10,000 a month is achievable for pretty much anyone who actually tries to make it. And if you feel offended at that, then this isn't the right channel for you. You should fuck off right now. At the very least, don't be offended, right? If you hear me say this, $10,000 a month is achievable, and you're like, oh my God, that's crazy. Like, uh, I'm not sure if I could. Okay, fair enough. You're a little bit of a pussy because you've got this limiting belief that you're not worth $10,000 a month and stuff, and it's probably right, but it's the people who, when I say this shit, that they start like bringing up fucking facts and figures, and like they're like, oh no, like they get offended as someone talking about making like a good amount of money. And that, this is a good amount. I know to a lot of people, this is a crazy, like, you know, mind blowing, like unreasonable amount of money. There was a video, like, I won't be able to find it now, but there was a random video I watched ages ago, years ago, when I was, like, in my dropshipping times. And this random dropshipper YouTuber was talking about how he went from working as, like, a pizza delivery boy to making tens of thousands per month or, like, even, like, 100,000 per month, right? And the way he described money just fucking hit me. To be honest, no, 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 I'll be honest. No, 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 I'll be completely honest. I hated that motherfucker with the way he described money. For a while, I thought he was a prick. And this is why, like, I'm saying, like, to the people who are offended at this video, just fuck off. Because at that point, when I was watching that video, I hated this guy because of how he was talking about money. And he, th th this was his exact words. He said, when you're making, like, good money, he said, anything below $10,000 a month is broke. $10,000 $10, per month is good money. And he said, like, that, he said, like, that's, like, good enough money. He said, 50000 is, like, when it starts to get serious. And I was thinking, what a prick. Like, you're fucking lying. No one makes that much money. Right? So I hated that guy. And when I look back now, I just think, Hamza, you, you dumb motherfucker. Because if you listen to him, and if you adopted that same mindset of thinking that $10,000 a month is achievable, you would have hit it a year earlier. So this is to, like, some random aspiring entrepreneur right now. What is your, your realistic achievable amount per month? Because if, you're, if you've got, like, this small dick energy that the world has gave you, it's not your energy. Any, any man who's like aspirational, ambitious and not like stupid will say he'd like to make a good amount of money. Of course you would. And like, fuck off with this idea of like, oh, money's bad and like, Ugh, money doesn't make you happy. Shut the fuck up. We're not talking about money makes you happy. Like money gives you fucking freedom. And that's the, the best thing that you can have in life. So, so this is important, right? But if you've set goals to make like small dick goals like I did, make 500 pounds a month, you're going to hit it. You know, 500 pounds a month after a few months of like, I don't know, one, two months of like doing something, you're going to hit it, right? If you set the goal for $10,000 per month, you're going to hit it. Of course, you're going to need to put in the work. You're going to need to do the right actions. But the only way that you'll ever make this much money, unless you get completely fucking lucky, which just doesn't happen, okay? Like, we're, let's assume we're not lucky people. The only way you make this good amount of money is if you set the intention to make this money. So what's going in, on inside of your brain right now that's telling you not to? Think about, like, do some introspective work on this because I'm telling you right now, this level of success and wealth that you want that will change your life, that will change your family's life, that will change your future family's life and all, everything, like, part of your life, your friends, everything, your freedom is based, I promise you, please believe me when I say this, that your level of wealth is based entirely on your mindset. Small dick energy is coming to my channel and being pissed off that I haven't told you like tactics of like how to how to make this business Hamza can you tell me how to do the eBay business like it's not gonna work bro can you tell me how to be a huge it's not gonna work because the real world is just a symptom of your own mind I've said this so many times that I, I don't think people take that as like that's some fucking like million dollar advice look around you right now this is a symptom of your mind Everything that you're doing right now, it's a symptom of your mind. It's like your self-image. It's what you believe. We're not doing law of attraction type of bullshit here, right? Law of attraction works and it is like real in a sense, but not the term like keyword law of attraction in quotation marks. Because if you search for that, you stumble upon these like little feminine pussy, like little scamming bastards who like their idea of like, you know, manifestation is like, oh, see yourself with the money and then don't do anything. Fuck you. The idea is like you've got to believe that you can make this money and then you've got to go and do make it fucking happen. But it starts with the belief. You can't make it happen if you don't believe it. So most people, most young guys, know for, they know, they know. It's not like they're, they're, they're conceived, like, you know, debating it. They know that they can't make 10,000 per month. So they don't ever set the goal to do so. Of course they don't. Because you wouldn't set the goal to do so if you knew that, if you knew that you couldn't do it. So they set the goal of like 1,500 per month, something like that, right? 
the issue with that is like that's like it's a nice amount and you know a lot of the young guys the teenagers who watch me they've literally asked me to like do videos on like 100 pounds a month or some bullshit how to make the first 100 like trust me when i say like you're not gonna hit it you're not gonna you're not gonna make a hundred dollars per month on on youtube or anything you know why because to make a hundred dollars from youtube let's say youtube revenue right you make a new account today to make your first 100 dollars it's gonna take you about six to twelve months probably closer to 12 months to make a hundred dollars so you're gonna quit of course don't be a fucking i'm not quitting yes you are you're gonna quit because to work for 12 months to make a hundred dollars is fucking bullshit of course it is 12 12 months to make a hundred dollars the, your first $100 month of YouTube revenue. It's interesting that if you set the goal to make 10,000 a month, you will make 10,000 a month in two years. And you know what's so nice about those two years that you're so motivated and you're so like, you've got this reward that's worth it. The people who quit, let's say go into the gym. This is a fantastic. The person who quits going to the gym is the person who's got this small dick energy of like, oh, I don't want to get too big. I just want to have this. This is the bullshit they always say. I just want to have like toned. I just want to get like toned shoulders and like, you know, the, the, the arm and the, the, that's the type of shit they say. You will quit. If that's your fucking goal, like, oh, I have the toned shoulders. What the fuck, bro? How is that so motivational that you'll want to like wake up early and go when, when it, like when you're sore and eat six meals a day with high protein? Oh, toned shoulders. You're going to quit. Of course you are because the reward's not that great. I was a complete and utter pussy procrastinator when I started lifting weights. It should have been impossible for me to get to this point. Honestly, it should have been impossible. I wasn't doing anything productive back then. Do you want to know the one single reason why I think I got to this physique where I am today? Because as soon as I started lifting, I said to myself that I wanted a 10 out of 10 body. Now that is a pursuit worth the thousands of workouts. That is a pursuit. When I was tired, I still went to the gym. When I didn't want to go to the gym, I still went to the gym. When I felt like shit, when I took weeks off and with depression and everything, but I never quit. It was always this mindset. I'm never going to quit weightlifting because the 10 out of 10 physique is like, that's like a priceless. If you had to put a price on that, it'd be worth like a million dollars or something to have a 10 out of 10 body. That was worth, that reward was worth the effort. The little small dick people who say like, oh, but you know, I just, I don't want to get too big. You'll never get close to being too big. You'll never even make progress in the gym because you've set your, your level of reward so damn low. It's like going to like an arcade or a game or something and it's like pay with energy, with time, with, you know, whatever we do, whether we're trying to make money or gains or whatever, we've got to pay with energy, time and effort and everything, right? So it's like going to an arcade saying, okay, pay $5 and do a bunch of bullshit. You're going to have to stand here for an hour and stuff and then you might win $6. Well, you'll say, no, fuck you. What the fuck? Like, that's not worth my time. I'm not going to do that shit. And that's exactly the same. Like, you, you are the master of this arcade game and you're saying to yourself, like, Instead of making the, the reward 10,000, you're literally small dicking yourself and saying, oh, $1,000 a month is more reasonable. What the fuck is that, bro? Like $1,000, yeah, it's like for some like cultures and stuff, it's like pretty good, but it's like, how is that gonna motivate you when things get hard? Okay, now you've just about gotten the same wage as you probably could have gotten anyway if you just got a normal job. You have to think bigger. You need, first of all, before we discuss anything, you need just like this growth mindset. You need this understanding that you can achieve something. You can like put in the work to be a YouTuber. Whatever it is, I know that I can do it. This was a mindset that I had when I was, when I was still living in Manchester, my student city, and I was still in like a dopamine fiend, smoking weed every day. And I was learning how to code, and I was learning how to drop ship. I was learning how to be a fucking rapper. I was literally researching this shit. And it fucking hit me that I had this belief this in it like such a this is a big dick belief that i used to have i'm using a lot of like dick size analogies today i don't know if that's like sexist or that's me promoting blue pill culture of me like um what's that word shaming men i don't i don't know but um the mindset i had was i was learning how to drop shipping and all this and i was like i knew for a fact that I could make a good living, I could get a good amount of success from anything that I chose with the underlying assumption that I would work on it for like four to eight hours per day. What about you? What I just said then, do you agree or do you not agree? You could go for pretty much anything that's like reasonable. You could become a, a pretty famous YouTuber, TikToker, author, basketball player, whatever it is, if you put in the work for it. Or do you think like, no, uh, Hamza, actually, there's a study that said like, uh, genetics or something, well, fuck you. 
Which one is it? Big dick or small dick? Which one do you want, bro? Because so many guys are voluntarily small dicking themselves. Oh, no, I can't. No, Hamza's wrong because you can't be an astronaut when you're... Shut the fuck up, bro. You're rejecting yourself. The amount of guys who reject themselves is fucking insane. Like, this is all about your belief. A guy sees a pretty cute girl... And instead of allowing her, instead of like going up, speaking to her and actually seeing if you guys vibe together, the guy rejects himself in his mind first. Men do that same concept of like rejecting themselves in their mind with like everything, all parts of life. Oh, meditation doesn't work. Oh, I couldn't go to the gym. I'm not strong enough. I couldn't make this much money because I, I live in India, bro. Is there someone who makes $10,000 a month in India? Yes. So shut the fuck up. You can do it. I couldn't attract her. Is there a brown guy who fucks white women? Yes. So you can do it. But oh, Hamza, I'm bald. Is there a bald guy who fucks? Yes. So you can do it. Oh, Hamza, I'm short. Is there a short guy who fucks? So you can do it. It's all about whether or not you believe it first. It's time that you put in some real fucking introspective work. This is when I say, like, look to the wall. Like, look at the wall. This is, like, the best advice that I've gave on YouTube, and I don't think many people have taken it. It's time you take a step back away from the screens, turn off YouTube, sit there with a pen and a piece of paper, and ask yourself, what, what are your beliefs about yourself? What do you think is possible, and what do you think is impossible? And then maybe have some accountability to send it to someone who's not, like, a small dick loser, who will tell you, like, why do you think that's impossible? Like, like someone else has done that. But now, that's step one of this plan of making $10,000 a month. And when people ask me for advice on being an entrepreneur and businessman and YouTube and everything, this is the number I tell them. I wish that this was my goal first. I got lucky in the sense that I got here without this goal. My goal was £500 per month. I hit £500. I ended up, just after hitting £500, I met, like I didn't meet, like I coached an entrepreneur who like does sales and everything. He was making literally 20 times per month more than I was making. I was making about 500, 600, 690 pounds is what I made in December, 2022. In December, 2022, I made 690 pounds. My goal for that month was 500. So yes, huh, I, I beat the goal. Everyone's so happy for me. You think that that's a lot of money. 690 pounds from YouTube house, that changed my life. I make 690 pounds. A week later, some guy buys my coaching for like, like, 80 pounds for the month, something like that. So I was working for like 10 pounds per, per hour, something equivalent. And he tells me that he's making 10K a month more. My, 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 his words, my first 10K was like this and this, and you know, this was my belief. And he was like, he was telling me like, you just have to believe and you just have to set the goal. That same month in January, I went from 690 pounds. In January, I made 1,550 pounds and 44 pence. If you think I'm lying, you've got a small dick, bro. I'm not told one single lie on YouTube yet. £1,550 and 44 pence I made the next month. I more than doubled. I almost 2.5 times my income because I just believed that I could do. Now my income from January, I'm currently recording this in December, is more than 10 times that. I have 10 times my income in 11, 12 months because I believe that I could do it. And you know what's very, very interesting? You know what's so, so interesting? The amount I'm making per month right now has not really changed for the last couple of months because I have simply not set the goal to increase it. I'm, I'm playing like a longer game right now. But it's so, so interesting that I can literally look at my chart of how much I've made and it directly correlates towards what was simply just my goal. There's like old school success gurus and the word like success guru, finance guru, like it pisses some people off in the modern small dick people in the modern day where they're like, oh, gurus, like they're, they're fake and shit. Just shut the fuck up. There's this guy called Brian Tracy. This is like a legit guy. He doesn't sell like fucking courses or anything, right? And he's made multiple books. This is like old school type of shit where this guy's telling you like, no, you can be successful. You get, get to work an hour early and leave an hour late. This is like all oh, that type of era, right? And he would literally give accounts of like these salesmen and everything where they would set the goal to make $5,000, they would make it in the first couple of weeks and then they would fuck around for the next like one or two weeks f for the, the month because they had made $5,000 and then they'd make $5,000 again and again and again. It was all about their belief. It was all about their goal. 
the same person when they're coached and they're told, okay, set your goal to 25,000. They're like, oh my God, no, it's impossible. I couldn't do five times. But like, you know, you convince them, okay, just set the goal to 25,000, work for it. They achieve it. And if even, even if they don't, bro, even if they don't, he was getting 5,000 consistently. Now he's getting like 18,000. The same concept was drilled into me by Tim Ferriss. And it, Tim Ferriss is actually in, in the book, The 4-Hour Work Week. Near the end of it, he actually refers to the book that's actually very much changed my life. And it's the go-to book. Like if you were getting my coaching and you were paying me thousands of dollars, this is one of the books that I recommend. It's like a fucking secret book that almost no one knows about. The Magic of Thinking Big by David Schwartz. The Magic of Thinking Big by David Schwartz. I'm not going to link it. Just go find it online. You know, fuck, that's, that's a very like big dick fucking statement like I'm, I'm like a fucking youtuber who's like oh like links in the description i don't give a fuck bro whatever like you can i'm authentically not trying to make much more money like it's zero thoughts in my mind to make money because i make more than enough passively we're setting up some long-term stuff so you know that i'm not fucking desperate for like affiliate links like one pound something per sale something i don't give a fuck bro but this book the magic of thinking big it's just these old school guys who are literally just telling you like no like you can do it you can achieve what your goal is now, some dickhead is going to comment like, oh, so Hamza, you th I'm black, so you think I can, if I set the goal to be white, like, shut the fuck up. Who, who like, some motherfuckers say, oh, Hamza, do you think I can get a Lamborghini tomorrow? Shut the fuck up. Don't criticize someone who's saying, like, to believe in you. Like, I say I believe in you. Don't throw it back to me with this stupid idea of, like, but, oh, but do you think I can just wish a Lamborghini in my house tomorrow? Like, of course not. It's not that you can just suddenly get something or that you can get something which is well and truly impossible. Whatever you think is impossible usually isn't, right? Impossible is literally like, like for, I just used the, the impossible example of the black guy turning white, but it's like, that's not even impossible. So you see like, whatever you think is impossible usually isn't. But these like little small dick people, well, they'll throw it back at me with this idea of like, oh, but see Hamza, like my edgy example of like why you can't just wish for what you want with the right mindset and the right belief. When you set the goal, the idea isn't like to just, just get the fucking Lamborghini tomorrow. The goal and the belief is just that you simply can do with the right amount of work required for it. I told you that when I was living in Manchester and I believed that I could do anything, right? The reason why I chose YouTube is because I started to see that I could become a success in whatever it was with enough work. I am not like musically talented whatsoever. I'm not like a good rapper or anything, right? But I knew for a fact that I could make it in like the rap industry. And that's not even like, if you think that's cocky or something, it's like, it's just the truth. With my work rate, four hours, waking up at 5 a.m., four hours of deep work and stuff, bro, of course I could. TikTok dancing, of course I could. Clinical psychologist, of course I could. Therapist, of course I could. But that isn't me saying that, oh, I'm just going to have it tomorrow, like without the fucking work done. It's like me saying I could do if I put in the work for it. Then the big question comes. This is when now you're above every fucking entrepreneur and student and pretty much the majority of people. If you've got to this point so far, if you're with me right now and you're like, yes, Hamza, I agree with you. I could, you know, I could do whatever I wanted as long as I put in the work. Now we're getting into like spiritual fulfillment and this is like next level kind of stuff. Forget 10,000 a month. That's like in, insignificant to what we're going to discuss now. Spiritual fulfillment, like I don't know even how you'd explain it, but now you have the, the final freedom in your life to choose. Okay, you can pretty much do what you want. So now you get to choose. You can become a success in what you want. So what exactly is it that you want? This is now next level shit. Instead of being a normal person who thinks about the reward that they want. So the reward is 10,000 a month, right? That's, that's medium dick energy. You want to know what big dick energy is? Now it's specifically thinking what problems do you want to solve for the rest of your life? Because you know that you can go down any career, any business, because with enough work, you'll learn it, right? Even if it's about gardening. With enough work, you'll learn enough about gardening and all the ins and outs of the gardening business to make a success. If you can believe that, as well as you can believe that you could become a rapper with enough work and learning the ins and outs and everything. Now you finally have the freedom to actually choose exactly what is it that you want because either way the end reward of of these different careers and stuff is success it's wealth it's freedom in a sense right but now you can go one big step further than that and actually think to yourself what problems do you want to solve no one does this average people excuse me go to the education system and they think what do they want oh i want a, a well-paying career <laughs> uh, the, the company car free fruit fridays so they go down this, the degree that they want. Businessmen, like aspiring businessmen and, and entrepreneurs, like medium to small dick energy entrepreneurs. Uh, I, I wanna make money, I wanna make YouTube videos. 
that's what you want. But what specifically is it of the downsides that you wanted? Because your life is always going to have downsides. You need to understand this. You're always going to go through problems. Now you're getting one huge step in front of everyone else where you're thinking, what type of problems do you want to solve? I didn't want to solve the fucking problems of being a coder. Of like just being sat at my desk like 10, 12 hours like a fucking software developer of like every Indian and every Pakistani guy is doing this now. Like I'll make your website for $100 or some bullshit. I didn't want to solve that shit. I'm not a fucking like little desk type of guy. There's like the huge level rewards are just waiting for the people who believe that they can get it. And this is where the magic of thinking big comes if you believe that everything that I've just said, if you agree with it, then the, un the simple question is then why not just think bigger? Why not just set bigger goals? Why not set your goal to have the most perfect 10 out of 10 body? The reason why you haven't set that goal, even though you're going to say the small dick answer of like, uh, uh, but Hamza, I don't want to be that big or whatever. Like I, I prefer this body. No, you don't, bro. No, you fucking don't. If you could have a 10 out of 10 aesthetic body right here, right now, you would take it. You don't want to do the work and you're also feeling insecure for the sake of having that goal. The same thing with wealth and success. If you could make 10, 20, 50,000 a month, you would love it. The same thing with women. If you could get the most attractive girl right now, you would love it. The reason why you don't aim for that is because of small dick energy. Because you know that it's going to be hard. You believe that you can't do it. And so you're like, huh, I don't actually want that because X. <laughs> the, the, the most beautiful woman's going to have a bad personality. Money's evil. <laughs> Small dick energy. You're setting a goal no matter what. So why not just make the goal bigger so you finally have the motivation to actually do the hard work required for it? Because 500 pounds per month online doesn't take you out of bed at 5 a.m. $10,000 a month does. The ability to travel the world with no stress does. Fucking 15% body fat with like a little toned arms doesn't get you into the gym on a cold fucking day. The 10 out of 10 physique does. I'm telling you right now that the competition for high level goals is a lot less than you think. The Wall Street Playboys is like this underground finance group and they've said that the competition to get into the 1% is just negligible. There's not even a real competition. After that, it's cut fucking throat because when you're in the top 1% of people, let's say top 5% to be realistic, these are people who dream big. These are people who probably have good genetics too. These are people who've like started well, their family's rich and everything. Fair enough. It's hard to move from the 5% to like the 0.1%. It's very hard. That, that's like Olympic level. Let's say 1% is like Olympic level. And then there's like, no, sorry. It's like top level athletes in like the local gym or whatever. And then there's Olympic level. There's the best of the best of the best. Competition is cutthroat at the 1% line. But before that, to get into the 1%, to get to like 5%, 10%, come on, bro. You literally just have to set the goal to do it and just not be a dumbass and just put in some, like, some work and you'll automatically get there. One final point I just made. Specifically, if you've clicked on this video and you really wanted to learn more about like, you know, 10,000 a month and you wanted like some in-depth knowledge about that. The one thing I'll just say is like, it's not going to be in a career. It really just have to be like a business in the terms of like content creation or whatever type of like business or company you're going to start. There's not many careers that will pay 10,000 a month. And the ones that do, there is, you know, some that pay like 120,000 per year salary. But those are some like high level careers. You often don't get into them straight away when you're young. And you have to really like dedicate your life to get into that point. So you go to like university specifically for the software development degree or something. And then you go for this job and you level up in like, I don't know the top five software companies or some, something like that, right? So it's if you want to make a good amount of money, $10,000 is a good amount of money, it's probably not going to come from a career. It has to come from business. This is 50 course sales. I sell a course, which is $200. $10,000 per month is selling 50 of those courses. That's how much sells passively for me. And like, I don't push it that hard. I sincerely hope if you watched all this video, you, you're starting to like, just realize the importance of mindset. Something like I've said a lot of words in this video. I hope that something's just clicked inside of at least a couple of guys watching this. Like the world and the rewards that you want is just theirs for, it's just yours for the taking. If you just think that you're good enough to take it. Most guys see the reward they want right in front of them and say, nope, I couldn't get the reward. 
like the one guy who believes he deserves it goes out and gets it. You've always wondered how like some guys who aren't really that attractive, they're not really that alpha, they're not really this and that. But then like you, you see like some attractive girl's boyfriend and you're like, hang on, like what the fuck? How did he get her? You know how? Whilst you've been spurging out, simping, looking at this girl, thinking that you can't get her, this guy walks straight up thinking that he deserves it and he got her. The same with the dumbass who makes a lot of money. The same with the person who makes a lot of success. They literally just thought, yep, someone's going to get it. Why not me? So why not you? Do the hard work, especially when you don't feel like it. Mwah.